We're going to be spending the next six weeks exploring the huge and incredibly diverse country of Colombia in South America. Bordering five countries on the northwest tip of the continent, Colombia is filled with vibrant and colorful cities, beautiful natural landscapes, and some picture-perfect beaches. The country has seen significant improvements in safety and security over the last few decades and is becoming an increasingly popular tourism destination thanks to its rich cultural heritage, which can be seen in its artwork, architecture, food and music. From the capital of Bogota to the towering trees of the Cocora Valley and the paradise island of the coast of Cartagena, this is Colombia. Welcome to Colombia, guys. More precisely, welcome to Bogota, its capital city. This is our fifth and final country here on the South American and Central American side of our year-long trip. We're very sad about that because yeah. we really, really love this continent so far. But we're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves. <laughs> Before we do leave, we have six whole weeks here in Colombia. We're going to explore a lot of the country and, of course, we're starting here in the capital city of Bogota. So currently just wandering around the streets of the historic center and I don't think we've been anywhere this colorful since we were in Oaxaca in Mexico. This place is just yeah, it's very colorful. really beautiful and not just colors as well as like murals everywhere also. It's just really interesting to look around. It really reminds us of Oaxaca, maybe even San Cristobal a little bit. Especially the surroundings, I think San Cristobal uh -huh. is more so because of the mountains around yeah. it. Yeah, oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. La Candelaria is a beautiful warren of cobblestone streets with amazing street art to be found around every corner. We followed our own route around the historic center, but you could quite easily book onto a guided street art tour to make sure you don't miss anything. After checking out the street art, we made our way down to Bogota's main square, Plaza de Bolivar. On the way, we passed the stunning and unique looking Santuario Nuestra Señora del Carmen, a Florentine Gothic temple from the early 20th century. Whilst exploring La Candelaria, we also visited a couple of really interesting museums. The first was the Museo Botero, which is housed in a beautiful colonial mansion and exhibits the artwork of one of Colombia's most internationally recognized artists, Fernando Botero. He is best known for his signature style of Boterismo, which shows people and figures in large and exaggerated volumes. The second was the Museo del Oro, or the Museum of Gold, which, as you might have guessed, houses many exhibits of pre-Columbian gold. There was definitely more gold on show here than we'd seen in our entire lives up to that point. Both the Gold and the Botero Museum are perfect for those slightly rainier days in the Colombian capital. Apparently a popular thing to do here in the late afternoons or evenings is to head up to the Monserrate mountain which towers just above the city. You can either get a cable car or a funicular up there or walk. If you want to do the hike I think you should go there earlier in the day uh, rather than later because it might not let you onto the trail. I think we're going to get the cable car up. Hopefully we're going to get really nice views out over the city, maybe even catch a nice sunset. Once at the top, the views across Bogota do not disappoint. Oh. 
There's also a church and small food and souvenir market at the top, but the real reason to come up is to watch the beautiful sunset over the city. Good morning guys. Good morning. Today we've come out of the historic center area of Bogota, probably smack bang into the middle of it really. And we've come to the botanical garden, which is the largest botanical garden in Colombia. Crazy. And yeah, it's gonna be fun to walk around it. They've got Tropicarium here with some cool glass domes that we're gonna go in a little bit later. Yeah. And you have to pay a bit extra if you want to go in there, just mm -hmm. bear that in mind. But the entry fee is very affordable. You really wouldn't think you were in the middle of a massive city here. Can't even see any surrounding buildings. Can't hear any traffic noise. Just the occasional plane going overhead. Really, really peaceful here. I love it. It's beautiful. Feels like we're in a The Tropicario took us on a tour of Colombia's many different ecosystems, starting out in the tropical rainforest with its colourful flowers and deep greens. And then moving on to the tropical dry forest with its shades of brown and many varieties of cacti. Finally, we got to see a section on useful plants and one on plants living in vulnerable ecosystems. The highlight of the garden is definitely the Tropicarium. Yeah, it's worth uh, buying the extra ticket for that. It's a really large place, but it doesn't feel like there's a lot going on. There's not a lot of signs to lead you around. It just feels a little bit bare, I think, compared to something like the one we went to in Quito. There's a lot more going on in a smaller space. It's like a nice big park, to be fair, and if you want to get away from the city noise, it's a perfect place to walk around. Yeah, overall, I think we would definitely recommend coming and checking it out. But I think now we're going to head back to a cafe somewhere, find something to eat. Weeks, pretty hungry. On our way back from the botanical gardens, we decided to visit the district of Usaquen to the north of the city. Here you'll find plenty of eateries and mellow cafes, trendy shops, and every Sunday there's a giant flea market which is a great place to pick up some local souvenirs. Today we are heading out of the city on one of the most popular day trips here in Bogota. We're going up to visit the Salt Cathedral, which is another one of the wonders of Colombia. Yeah, there's actually seven of them. We probably won't be able to visit them all, but we might be able to visit at least another one. Massive hole. It's quite a little bit of a journey to get there. We're going to try and do it on public transport, show you guys how to do it. <laughs> See you there. The Salt Cathedral is located in the town of Zipaquira, about 50 kilometers north of Bogota. To get there on public transport, we first had to get a bus to the Portal del Norte 
Norte bus station before boarding another bus to Zipaquirao, which was not as easy as it sounds. After the bus dropped us off, we had to walk through Zipaquira and up the hill on the outskirts before finally arriving to the Salt Cathedral. So we've made it to the Salt Cathedral. It was a fun adventurous way to get there. We nearly gave up, but we didn't. But no. I'm glad we didn't, and I'm glad we made it. We got yeah. our tickets now. We got our audio guide, so we're about to go in. As the name suggests, the Salt Cathedral is an underground Roman Catholic church built inside an active salt mine. The site is a place of pilgrimage for many and has three sections representing the birth, life and death of Jesus. There are many beautiful statues and carvings and services are held in the main cathedral every Sunday. There's also underground streets with shops, exhibitions and cafes, as well as an underground theatre, Egyptian exhibit and virtual reality experience. It's pretty easy to lose track of time whilst you're down there. Once we were ready to leave, we boarded a train that drove us up out of the salt mine and back into the daylight. So just come out of the Salt Cathedral. Overall, I think really a worthwhile thing to come and do yeah. whilst you're in Bogota. I think it's great that if, if you want to DIY it, I highly recommend doing it. It's a long way out, but it's going to be a long way on a tour bus as well, and it's definitely more expensive. Yes. Obviously, it's a cathedral, so the clues in the name is a very religious experience. Yes, but it also but tells you something about the yeah. mines and how it was built and then the all history sorts. of it. It was actually the first wonder of Colombia, so it's the one yes. to come to <laughs> if you visit any of them. So that brings our time here in Bogota to an end. If you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing and we'll see you on the next one in Colombia. Bye! Bye.